Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Bob's Decline. I've just got a real quick clip for you here today on something that I spotted while doing a job up a pole. You see, we had to do a here today for that house off the distance. They're putting in some solar panels. Those other poles are off-road, so if I had to, no big deal to cut the power. I would have had to climb them. The most successful pole was this guy right in front of me here, which I can reach from the bucket truck. And this is a brand new pole. This was just built this summer. All brand new wire, brand new two-watt triplex, one-watt triplex. Now, when you frame up these poles, the, the standard says to basically put the service loop at a right angle, have a little bit of extra slack in the wire. There's two reasons for this. One is for a drip loop, which mostly pertains to at a surface entrance, like this guy here, so water doesn't follow the wire down into the pipe. And the second reason is for extra wire, in case you do have to cut it off for any reason. So this guy here, you can see is cut off now. This end is live, we got them taped up. This is the load side, which is dead. And when that was crimped together, it was sitting just like that. So now using a crimp it, which requires the wire to overlap, there's no way I can make that wire reach and overlap to redo that connection. So not a big deal. I've got a couple pieces of wire here ready to go. We're gonna crimp that on the dead side first and then one at a time, heat them up on the live side. The neutral is still intact, but you can see even on the neutral here, for ever, any reason I ever gotta cut that neutral, it's not going back together without making two connections, which again, not a big deal. It does create more work. The less connections on a wire, technically the better. I'm not sure what they got going on here. Same, same idea, if this guy gets cut off, that's a bit extreme for slack, but there would be enough room to reconnect them onto this side. So when you're framing up poles, guys, uh, make sure you leave a little bit of extra wire, make things neat. That's a little bit, as I said, extreme, especially on, on that end there. But whenever you're framing up the pole, think of the next guy that's coming on site to work. Thanks for stopping in as always, guys, and we'll see you soon.